Well, good morning. Perhaps you'll allow me to say at the start that our hearts go out to all those who are on holiday in Rhodes, who uh, at this peak period of the year when there are between seven and 10,000 Brits on holiday there, what should be one of the happiest weeks of the year for them, and they're caught up in all this uh, difficulty and turmoil. So our hearts really do go out to them on their holiday. Uh, as far as Corfu is concerned, there were some people moved uh, during the night, uh, but they have now gone back to uh, where they were staying. The uh, situation in Corfu is that there are no fires in residential or holiday uh, areas, so there is much better news on that. As far as uh, Rhodes uh, is concerned, um, we now have a team of 10, that is six Foreign Office experts from London and four Red Cross uh, support uh, staff at the airport who are um, giving um, support to uh, British travellers uh, there. As of last night, they had had 20 requests for support, all of which have been uh, dealt with. But the clear advice is to listen carefully to the tour operators and holiday companies. Uh, secondly, of course, to obey the Foreign Office travel advice. And thirdly, to listen carefully to the emergency services if and when they uh, are deployed uh, in the area where you are staying. What do you say to those criticisms that say that a rapid deployment team should have gone out last week? I mean, the warnings of evacuations began on Tuesday, and it's the chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, Conservative, who's, who's making those complaints. Well, Alicia is quite right to hold the government to account. We should always be held to account for what we do on these occasions. Uh, my information is that the uh, rapid deployment team was sent uh, very swiftly. It is on the ground. It is dealing with complaints. But uh, there will be a point after this is all over uh, to see whether we could have done anything better. But for now, uh, the Foreign Office is very strongly supporting the deployment team in all the work it's doing on the ground uh, in Rhodes. Minister, um, off the people we're talking about there on holiday, um, whose responsibility is it ultimately to get them back to Britain, the travel operators or the government? Well, first and foremost, it's the travel operators, and they have been flying out planes which were far from full and in some cases empty in order to bring people back. So uh, I have no information which suggests that they are not doing uh, their stuff, but obviously the government and the Foreign Office keep a very sharp eye on everything that is happening. Um, I know that you've been describing these wildfires uh, in Rhodes as a bit of a wake-up call when it comes to climate change. And yet there are reports this morning that the splits within the Conservatives on environmental policy is widening. And I wonder whether or not you think that the Conservatives should be rejecting many green policies and indeed if perhaps there might be any movement on the ban of petrol cars by 2030. Well, the answer is that we should do both those things. Certainly, we should pursue net zero. Um, Britain actually is the leading G7 country in terms of implementing its promises, and we are ahead of schedule in quite a lot of the net uh, zero measures. But equally, we have to defend households and individuals from rising costs. This government has shown itself very adept at doing that. We did so during the pandemic. Uh, we did so when electricity prices went through the roof because of Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. Um, and uh, the key enemy in all these things is inflation. And the Prime Minister has made it his top determination to reduce inflation. And on that, of course, we had some good news last week. So you can the ban, then, do Just both. specifically the on, on the petrol cars. Message. The, the ban will remain then? Well, the government's been very clear that we are... The government's been very clear that we are phasing them out uh, in 2030. And that, I think, is the right uh, policy to pursue.